Hello viewers, welcome back to our technical channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly press the subscribe button to get subscribed. Also, press the bell button to get the notification from us. If you like the video, at the end of the video, please give a like button to us. Now, let us have a look at how to get a new Bescom connection. So, many people have asked for it in our uh, technical channels for getting a uh, Bescom connection for the first time for a residential property. So, in this video we will explain you how to get an LT connection you know there are two different connections HT and LT HT is for industrial purpose and LT is for residential purpose so in this video we explain you how to get an LT connection for uh, residential purpose for your new property from BESCO so let us have a look at it the first what you should know is you should open a Google Chrome page in the search bar just type uh, how to know your BESCO uh, subdivision so because there are some uh, important things before uh, trying to create a, a new Bescom connection you should know where uh, in, in the, where the property belongs to you should know under which substation and which uh, area you are falling into and one more thing before starting up uh, I would like to tell you is keep all the data handy if you need it write it down because this website if you are doing the process very slowly it just logs out or again next page if you click I have seen that it will rewind from beginning so you lost all the data again you have to start from the beginning so this is just uh, uh, maybe the bug or I don't know it might need some improvement but keep your data handy either in a paper or wherever and fill it in faster mode so all the uploads documents you need to upload uh, documents like your address proof your id proof your premise address proof taxpayer receipt keep everything ready otherwise you end up doing it from beginning okay so now uh, in this uh, i am going to uh, there is a bescom link here you can see let me show it to you one more time okay so in the google chrome page you just type know your bescom station and there is a bescom.org know your station code okay so click here to download so when you click download there is a file is excel file is downloaded and you click on download and open it you can see your all the bescom area and bescom substation details in the excel file so if, for example if you scroll down you can see here uh, south jainagar and the substation is s5 and what are the stations falling under and if you scroll a little bit down you can see this way uh, see here jainagar s5 so this way all the areas uh, of bescom is listed in this document and it is so easy for you uh, before filling in to know which substation and station code all this you are falling into see for example Jainagar has one more substation S9 so the, it will be like one area might have multiple substations so let me see in my case I wanted to make for HSR so I am uh, scrolling down to see HSR so here is HSR in my case circle is south and subdivision is S8 and division is HSR and in this also if you scroll a little bit right side you can see which area you fall under to so for example say in my case i am looking for uh bomenhalli area you can see second line hsr and bomenhalli okay so uh see you can see here hsr station code 134 and feeder area is bomenhalli so if you are taking so this is all the hsr uh, 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 area feeder area comes under hsr uh, division hsr so now we again go back to Google Chrome page search bar you can give as uh, Bescom org in the Bescom org just click on the first link it will take you to Bescom org page so if you scroll down a little bit you can see a green uh, icon of uh, customer care and this you can see apply online for LT new connection and other services this is the page you are this is the icon you have to suppose you have to click down if you click down uh, you can see here two options are there okay so it depends on your area the bescom has categorized area as rap drp area and non rap drp area 
in rap drp area see if your area falls under any of this like bangalore anekal town hoskote kanakpuracha all this list you can see so if your area falls under this you have to apply here so any area of karnataka and uh, other than this you have to apply here in the second task okay, tab so this is the process so in this uh, so it is this procedure is for completely karnataka not only in bangalore so that's the reason it covers all the areas now here in my case i am going to uh, make for bangalore region and so i am supposed to click here in this first tab when i click on apply here another website opens and what you should do is uh, just enlarge this you can do it in your pc also or in your mobile also so i am doing from mobile so that's the reason i'm zooming it for your uh, visibility purpose or you can uh, get a laptop and do it also so in this you can see here there is a new apply under apply online there is a new connection click on the new connection it will take you to a page where you are supposed to enter all the details so this is the details you can just watch my video and get your details properly written down before starting the application now you can see here ht and lt ht is for our uh, commercial purpose we are going to do an lt just click on the lt then the page again reloads and in, you can see in personal details either you are getting a business purpose or person purpose so you can select accordingly in my case i am going for a uh, personal purpose person purpose okay so i just click on this radio button person and this is the place you are supposed to start filling in all your personal details your applicant name uh, so i just fill in my application name and email id also you can fill in it is optional email id is optional but uh, all the star marks you can see right application type business application name everything has a black star all the star uh, mark uh, uh, entries are mandatory without this it will not uh, forward to next page so in my case i just enter my email id uh, still uh, email id is optional here but i would suggest you you enter your email id and phone number properly so that you get all the messages and communication and later also if you need it you can pull back the data with your details so enter your email id also now you can skip the guardian name uh, now here phone type is by default it is mobile so select mobile and give your mobile number very very important do not mistake do not uh, uh, make sure you are giving the correct mobile number because all the sms uh, all the communications will come through your mobile okay so in this uh, id type i am selecting a pan card and giving my id number you can select either passport or pan uh, ration card whatever listed in this uh, when you click on the drop down menu there are a lot of document options given so whatever as per your convenience you can select the document here now address line you have to give your permanent address give your uh, select your area uh, pin code uh, and stuff uh, you are uh, so automatically the state gets loaded give your pin code you can see here i have selected cts bangalore and given my address name uh, so there is two addresses what is per power supply uh, address and your corresponding address okay so you can see here power supply address is the uh, uh, the address where your power connection is required and below is your residence address where you are residing now so you can fill it in separately so if both the address are similar what you can do is in the residence address there is a tick button here uh, which says is same as above I, you can see here i just ticked it so that the address will be automatically loaded and you click on continue so when i clicked on continue there was some mistake in the uh, pin code was wrong so i just uh, entered the correct pin code but you can see in the is same of above it is not at loaded so just untick same as above again tick same as above so it will be loaded so even your uh, current address and premise address is same now you click on the continue button you can see it goes to next page where you are supposed to uh, select your power supply details so do not uh, so there are a lot of details here dot of uh, uh, categories here but select domestic lta2 if you are looking for usually all your apartment uh, individual flat individual uh, uh, houses everything comes under usually domestic lta2 if you have commercial there is option there for commercial also 
but for an ordinary purpose select uh, I have selected domestic LTA2 now uh, in the, the uh, you can give my locality name of which area it be belongs to so do not worry about much about uh, 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 load details and stuff for example suppose uh, if it is wrong also you can get it changed later once connection is done okay now uh, see how I fill my area is uh, this the uh, station code the excel sheet I have already downloaded here so in my case it is uh, circle is south HSR and substation is S8 so in this case you are supposed to select your substation I just scroll down here in this and see you can see here S8 Bomanhalli is my area and where you fall into in under this you have to select the Bomanhalli in my case so you can see the premises also I have given uh, so according to your premise you can give it so okay South HSR S8 is that and my area is you can see here under HSR six categories are there so mine was Bominarly, so in this case I have selected Bominarly, S8 Bominarly and next also Bominarly K. Okay, and uh, premise location you see here I have selected before, above the substation there is, I have selected as village Gram Panchayat office. So this you can select accordingly whether you fall into village or maybe you fall into BBMP category or you fall into uh, the BDA category so when you drop down the menu accordingly where you fall into the, uh, not you fall into where the property uh, of the BESCOM connection you are going to get fall into so you have to select it accordingly now let us keep moving uh, click on the uh, uh, reason for uh, which type of LTA2 you are looking for you can scroll it down and you can select residence LTA2A so if it is like you are going for some institution or some commercial everything is available so these two uh, details are not needed so if it is for residence you can uh, take it as residence LTA2 so here uh, selecting the load you can uh, give it from 4 to 10 loads okay so what uh, I can say you is if it is just a house or uh, just a uh, flat individual flat for 4 kilowatts will do and if it is a little bit bigger house 6 kilowatts will do and uh, usually 4 kilowatts will su su suffice your uh, uh, your need and if it is a bigger property commercial a little bit uh, kind of uh, lift and stuff is running then you have to select for 10 kilowatts okay so by default when you uh, require the load is changed the below required phase will automatically change from single phase to three phase you don't need to do it and also remember you can change the load later also there are options once you have received the connection you can again log into the, this same page and you can uh, request for changing your load online itself don't worry about this now as of now you can give for a premise four kilowatts and move on until unless you don't have a lift or something so uh, you can see when I select 10 kilowatts, three phases automatically selected for if, if I am selecting four kilowatts, single phase is good enough. So you can go with uh, four kilowatts and automatically the voltage is selected to 30 volt. So do not change this. Now you have uh, two options, Tatkal or regular. So you know the meaning. So Tatkal is faster, regular is an ordinary one. It might take two to three weeks or maybe uh, four weeks, but Tatkal will be faster. So in my case, I'm going with a regular connection and I select which uh, area I fall into uh, uh, see the premise location I was explaining in the beginning so in this case uh, I, I just shown you the example you can even select a, a BBMP area see here when I selected BBMP accordingly you can select your uh, section office from the excel sheet you have to uh, uh, see your section office and other substation details okay and this is again I am going for residence LTA2. So this is an example I am showing you. So I am just showing you what are the options in the premise location. So uh, I just so if you are selecting six kilowatt, you can see automatically three phase comes. Okay. So and uh, right side also you can see four hundred volts. So you don't need it for your home purpose. Only four watt uh, four uh, four kilowatts is what you need. You can select there four. Now click on continue. Uh, so it takes you to the next page so remember any time uh, if you take more time uh, for filling your data it if you click on continue right it will scroll back to your home page and your old data is lost you have to start from beginning I have seen this bug uh, with this uh, web page so I would say you have to take print out or write down all your details before starting 
so that it will be one time faster so don't give much delay before filling the application now next page what you have to need uh, you need is which is your site type whether it's already approved electrified layout or a revenue land or no unauthorized land so accordingly you select it so in my case it is approved electrified layout so that means your layout already has electricity and give your premise square feet okay uh, square meter sorry it's not in square feet it is in square meter m2 you can see here m square okay so accordingly you can uh, you should know your property details right it's an apartment uh, somewhere like 600 square meter 700 square meet whatever or is a residential house you should know what is your square feet and you you can also uh, convert a square feet to a square meter uh, even in you google you can do or you find out that that details of your property how much square meter it is needed it is square meter remember it's not square feet so you give uh, your details accordingly and in this uh, uh, there is no other uh, uh, much detail you have to give only ownership type you have to give whether it is owned by you can give owned or it's a trust or individual in my case it's owned i'm giving it's owned and here there are options where uh, what kind of uh, type of power so in this you can uh, you can just select as uh, motive power uh, which which was uh, what i'll just show you okay okay so here so type of power what you can select is okay this is want okay in type of power there is uh, three options motive lighting and lighting and heat okay i would say site, uh, select lighting and heat because in home purpose you might be using all the light fan and your geyser all this stuff so light and heat will do uh, the option you can select better for now uh, once these things are done click on submit button okay once the submit is success you can see uh, see there is an uh, request id generated okay see you would have got a message also in your mobile see this so this is all about it what you have done for is your request id is uh, so and so and uh, what is the registration amount you are supposed to pay for this purpose is just 60 rupees and the breakup also shown below including gst and stuff so moving forward note down this number if if it is not came as a message you can note down this number and now this is the 60 rupees i was talking about you had to pay and here you have two options okay now now in the last stage is uploading the document so in the uploading document you have to, to, uh, two options either you can upload it online or uh, you can see here you can read here documents can be either uploaded online or you can visit your substation okay scroll down little bit route can be sounded as uh, submitted at the substation office so you know already your substation right so uh, this is uh, either uh, is uh, uh, you can do either way but i would say what i have uh, seen is uh, you upload it online also and while see once you have to go to substation with these papers to show them you, you have the original ones right so there it is like you apply everything online pay online uh, 60 rupees you can pay online but you had to visit the substation once and show all your papers to the uh, person and get the acknowledgement done now uh, you do uh, I, uh, both uploading here and also you visit the office okay now what are documents you have to upload is uh, your identity proof which says your uh, photocopy of pan card better uh, or aadhar or whatever you can see here under identity proof and passport photograph you upload uh, in the uh, required format and your ownership proof is the sale deed or kata certificate all these things you can see one by one you upload whatever you have okay sale deed copy if latest kata is uh, other otherwise latest tax paid receipt if you have occupancy certificate upload it otherwise you cannot so how to upload is there is a choose file option you can see here uh, choose file option click on the choose file then click on upload for under each category and make sure your document size does not uh, it's not bigger than 8 mb you can see here document uh, maximum total size up to 8 mb so all the documents together maximum size is 8 mb so make sure it's not a very big document or accordingly you have to resize it okay now when you do all uh, choose file and click once it is done all the documents are submitted one by one properly you have to scroll down and you can click on the print submit form 
so once you print the submit form you can uh, get all the details of so you can pay also pay also registration amount here right so either you can go to office and pay or you can pay uh, uh, online also so you just click here payment uh, pay registration amount it will take you to your neft or whatever debit uh, credit card or debit card bank accounts give your username or card details and get it paid you can download the receipt i'm not going to show you here you can just click here it's so simple and get it paid okay this is the 60 rupees you are supposed to pay and once it is done uh, you click on the uh, print submission form and uh, take a uh, print out of it while going to office carry all these documents right when you pay online 60 rupees the receipt will come see this is the uh, when i click on the print submission page these are the things coming so all the details your phone number whatever details you filled in here your uh, uh, see the area everything will come here you can see date you can fill here you can put your signature here and while uh, going to the office carry this form also this is your proof that what is the uh, you have submitted and your id everything one more thing is anywhere you get stuck any process is going low you feel uh, you need a help what you have to do is you have to uh, just go for 1912 which is the helpline of besco now let let me quickly show you how to uh, uh, see this process as i explained is complete in karnataka so this one i had explained you rap drp area which uh, bangalore comes under that so just let us have a quickly look at people who are out of this area this is done apply it is uh, apply is done for rap uh, drp area now if you are un, uh, out of this area like you are somewhere rural what can be done scroll down you can see here non rap drp area so click on this apply button which will uh, if you are out of any of this above area some rural area click here it will again take you to another website where you can again see apply online for new connection lt new connection you click on the lt new connection so remember you can do it from pc also you can do it from mobile also mobile you have to zoom and see like this pc it will be easier a bigger screen or even laptop ipad whatever it is same as the previous one you have to upload the document here uh, and you select the power type as motive now um, identity proof you can see here right identity proof proof of occupancy and uh, completion certificate so whatever certificate you have uh, but proof of identity and uh, other uh, ownership details occupancy are mandatory here so for example i select my pan card as my uh, identity proof from my documents or through photo you can even take a photo of pan card and you click on upload documents it will be uploaded here now proof of occupancy once all these things are done occupancy proof of occupancy you can select registered sale deed is okay or khata certificate is okay so once these uh, things are done uh, this uh, completion test certificate also whatever proof you have uh, you uh, selected so this certificate test certificate is what why we need a uh, contractor details so now if i click on submit see it says license number you can see here this is mandatory so what it says licensed electrical contractor details so that is why you can see below uh, see it says license number is mandatory so this is the difference between the uh, city based approval and uh, village remote approval because here you need a license contractor details and also you need the third document you were uploading the contractor uh, uh, certificate saying that this uh, things are okay to go with the approval of besco so uh, okay so any 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 time uh, suppose uh, so you have to fill the license details like this from the contractor number then once the documents are done click on submit so this will generate the same way uh, previously you were doing maximum size is 8 mb all these conditions are valid now this will generate you uh, the same uh, tickets on your mobile and you can forward now one more thing you get stuck anywhere you feel any any clarification is needed you feel anything is going slow this is the helpline number of besco 1912 and they are very happy to customer care is very happy to assist you anytime i have seen they have a give, given a very good feedback very good uh, uh, help you can uh, get from them you can give all your details like whatever you have filled in you should have handy with your acknowledge number and stuff give them this is the pro they'll help you out in all the ways so uh, this is all about uh, getting a new bescom connection 
uh, so 1912 is the number you have to call for thank you very much for watching our video if you like